Hey guys, it's Akila, and today we would be looking at how to plant violas, also known as Johnny Jumper from Seed. Now, I have never seen this plant sold in any of my local plant shops. I bought these seeds a few years ago because I wanted to add some color to my garden. And after planting them, my seedlings didn't do too well, and the plant just kind of died after some time. The plant really looked as if it didn't want to be here and I didn't understand the reason why. I ended up putting the seeds down, putting them away and now here I am a few years later trying to do this again. Violas, commonly known as Jenny Jump Up, are considered annuals or short-lived perennials. Now the things that I would be using to plant my violas from seed are a container with drainage holes, multi-purpose soil, water, and of course, my viola seeds. Violas can be started indoors or directly outdoors. They can be sown in a container or directly in your garden. This can be done by clearing the area that you desire to use of all unwanted plant life. First, I begin by placing the soil into the container. I'm using a very, very small container, but you can use a larger size or any other seed starter if you desire. Here I'm using a multi-purpose soil. When starting any seeds, I would advise that you use a seed starter potting mix or any soil that is light, that can retain moisture and that drains well. Or simply, you can make your own. There are a lot of videos on YouTube that shows us how to make our own seed starter potting mix. I recognize that this was the main reason why my seedlings did not do too well a few years ago. I was using the wrong medium. Now it is said that viola plants, not referring to the seedlings, the actual plant can tolerate a variety of soils but at the same time they prefer their soils to be well drained. So bear in mind that that refers to the actual plant and not the seedlings. So for now we would stick to using a seed starter potting mix or any soil or any medium that can retain a lot of moisture and that really drains well and that's light, okay? Now I place my seeds into the soil, then I cover them with a thin layer of soil. In order for viola seeds to grow, they should be completely covered as they require darkness to germinate. I then watered lightly and placed in a warm spot in my garden. Ensure that you water your seedlings daily until germination occurs. Now because I live in the Caribbean and it's warmer in my region, I place the seeds in a spot where they can get partial sunlight to shade. But for persons living in cooler regions, viola seeds and plants prefer an area of full sunlight. When the seedlings had their second pair of leaves, I transplanted them into individual pots. This is how the plant looked after a couple of months. You can see the lovely flowers and beautiful healthy leaves. I was so proud when it continued to grow into a healthy, healthy plant. How I care for this plant, thus far I've only fertilized this plant once and I keep it in a spot where it receives bright indirect light. I water this plant every other day. I don't want to take any chances so I'm playing it pretty safe. I really want to see how much growth I'll get from this plant and how long it'll stay here with me. I am monitoring for pests. Um, so far I've seen, I've seen butterflies, caterpillar and ants, caterpillars biting the flowers and a bit of the leaves, just one actually, one of the leaves and um, ants crawling along the stem of the leaves. So I am monitoring for pests and other insects. Here's a fun fact about violas. Young leaves and flowers are edible. They can be used raw, cooked for decoration of cakes and other desserts. The stems, leaves and flowers can be used in treatment of congestion and sore throat. I have never tried this before, have you ever? Thanks so much for watching and let me know what videos you'd like to see next. 